September 14th and we're in uh, Kentucky zone 6b and we're gonna go hopefully pick some pawpaws have a small pawpaw patch well we're on our uh, way out uh, we're gonna ride out to the field and uh, supposed to be a decent little pawpaw grove out here uh, <laughs> we'll see how it looks when we get out there like I said it's a uh, mid-september so should be uh, hopefully quite a few on the tree Oh, we're down here in the by the creek where all the pawpaw trees are and there's a you can see there's a bunch of them growing smaller ones they're all over the place down here here's a couple that are still up on the tree here's another little cluster here and uh usually they say you want to wait till they fall to the ground but if you do that you ain't gonna get none and so we're gonna take everything we can find and go from there here's a cluster here's a cluster all right well we grabbed everything i could out of that little patch came on up the hill some uh, and uh yeah these are a little bit more difficult to get to because they are on a steep hill but i don't know if you can see those right there there's uh, probably about 15 of them up here, so we're going to grab those now, and yeah, <laughs> see how many we can get. Well, we cleared out what we could find of uh, those couple little patches there, but we did get, you know, a five-gallon bucket and a two-gallon bucket, so we got a good amount. Uh, there's one little other spot. It's got a few. There was a bunch of trees over there that were... Uh, it looked like they were probably younger than the seven years I've heard it takes for them to grow. But yeah, it's a nice little patch. And uh, of course, there weren't any on the ground. So whatever it is that uh, eats them, which is from what I've heard, everything, has definitely got a hold of them as soon as they hit the ground. So a lot of the ones we did pick weren't really ripe or ready to be picked, but it's the only time we'd be coming out. So it made sense to just go ahead and pick it now uh, as opposed to just leaving them. Plus uh, some of the bad ones we picked that had been eaten on and stuff. That way I got a bunch of seeds. So uh, I can give them out, try to grow some, try to plant some, all that. All right, let's see what we can find at this other, other patch we're gonna get to here in a second. Probably got about, the last spot we probably got about, I don't know, 15 more or more so I'd say. Yeah, both buckets, buckets are completely full. The best part is we get to enjoy literally the fruits of our labor so can't wait to go and uh see if we can make some maybe some bread using this or some uh preserves found a recipe and i'm gonna try out see how these do so good luck hunting and uh finding you some pawpaws <laughs> 